Eight men are behind bars accused of trying to meet up with children for sex, but it turns out they were really meeting up with local law enforcement agencies. Thanks so much for joining us. I'm Shay Razi. And I'm Sarah Whaley. This was all part of Operation Stolen Innocence, an undercover Homeland Security investigation designed to target child predators. New at 5, Fox 23's Kaylee Carnine is live outside the Tulsa Police Department. Kaylee, you spoke with local law enforcement partners like TPD about the results of the operation. Yes, I did, and TPD is just one of 16 different law enforcement agencies involved in Operation Stolen Innocence, their mission to proactively stamp out child predators. Eight men arrested across green country accused of trying to entice a minor for sex. Five suspects are charged in state court and three are charged in federal. Law enforcement hasn't released the name of the eighth suspect as his case is still under investigation. Investigators say the men thought they were messaging kids on social media apps, websites, chat rooms, and video games. But really, they were messaging undercover law enforcement agents. Those agents made fake accounts pretending to be minors and waiting waited to see who would reach out to them. Hundreds of people reached out, but only eight actually acted and tried to meet up with kids. No child was put in danger on this, but these individuals over the course of time left where they were at, went somewhere to thinking they were gonna meet with a minor for sex. This operation was led by Homeland Security in partnership with Tornado Alley Child Exploitation and Trafficking Task Force, a task force that involves state partners. They take a proactive approach to cracking down on child predators. It's a coordinated effort to set up these long-term investigations uh, that ended up with the results that we had in three days. Homeland Security says that investigations are still ongoing, but some of the initial charges are attempted coercion and enticement of minors, possession of child porn, and soliciting sexual contact or communication with minors by use of technology. Homeland Security says that this operation was highly successful and they're not stopping here. We're not going anywhere and we're coming after them. If we don't come after the crooks, we're coming after their property and we're going to go after their assets too. Our work is day to day, 24 hours a day. We will be there. And these agencies remind parents to have open conversations with their kids about online safety. Make sure you know who they're talking to and what they're doing online. Live in Tulsa, covering news that matters, Kaylee Carnine, Fox 23 News. OSBI says if you notice your child is receiving inappropriate messages online, reach out to their Internet Crimes Against Children unit directly. They also have a tips line at tips at osbi.ok.gov.